My name is Lily DePew, and we have President Kathy Fell of the University of Finley in the house. Hello, President Fell. My name is Lily DePew. Thank you for taking part in our Oiler Up Fun Day Sunday segment. Mazza kids want to know, shall we get started? Yes. I'm so excited to have you, Lily. Thank you. Is it hard being the president of yes. the University of Finley? <laughs> yes. But it's also fun because I get to do things like this. How do you run the University of Finley? Well, I try to do it carefully. I try to listen to the people who work here and who study here. I try to pay attention to what the community needs and then respond with, um, with as much thought and care as possible. What do you like the most about being president of the University of Finley? What I like most is getting to know lots of people very wonderful employees, wonderful students who are coming to school here, but I also get to know lots of people in the community and future Oilers like you. What is your day like at the university? What is my day like? Most, our, my days differ from day to day and week to week, but I usually wake up early, sometime between five and six, and I do a lot of reading early in the morning and try to get my thoughts organized and my mind and spirit organized for the day. And then I come to work and have meetings and do a good bit of writing. I do some reading to be sure that I'm apprised of what I need to know for the day. And often I get to meet with students, faculty, staff, and community leaders, sometimes state and national leaders. That's pretty exciting. It is. What is your favorite food? My favorite food? That is a hard question, Lily, because I like almost everything. Maybe my favorite food would be vanilla ice cream with hot fudge sauce. Yeah. What do you my think? Favorite. Okay, we're friends, definitely. <laughs> what is your favorite color and why? My favorite color is blue. It has been my favorite color since I was younger than you, and I don't know why, Lily. It's the color of the sky. It's the color of a happy, sunny day, maybe. What do you have to do to get, what did you have to do to get in this position? Well, I studied a good bit when I was in school, when I was in your age, and then in high school, in college, in graduate school. I was a professor for a number of years, and I loved it, and I sort of became president by hard work and following my calling. Also, I was just fortunate enough that the University of Finley was looking for a president at the right time, and it seems to have been a good match. At least from my point of view, it's been a good match. What is your favorite thing to work on? That's a good question. Because I have a number of jobs in my position, and I like most of them. I think my favorite thing is to spend time with students and to listen to them and try to adjust what we're doing at the university to meet what they need, that really makes me happy. What is your favorite song? My favorite song? Oh, that's a hard one. You know, I can't sing or dance, really. <laughs> it's a good thing they don't require that for this job. But my favorite song, I have a lot of songs I like. But probably the song that I go back to most often is one I grew up listening to in Sunday school. Um, and that would be uh, Amazing Grace. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> well, I'd be Scout, our dog. <laughs> Scout is a, is, a, is a golden doodle. She's a happy, happy dog, and everybody loves Scout, and she has a great life. So I would be Scout, our puppy dog. Have you been the president at another at other college? No, I haven't. I was at another college for 25 years as a as a college professor, and then as an administrator, a vice president. Before I came here, 
to become president. How many kids do you have? <laughs> That's a good question. I have five children. They're grown now, four, four sons and a daughter. If you couldn't be the president, what else would you want to be? Mm, I'd go, I would like to be an English professor teaching students. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Lily, you ask hard questions. <laughs> I'm not getting a grade or anything, am I? No, please. Okay, good. <laughs> where would I go if I had could go anywhere in the world? In the whole world? I really like the city of Prague, so I might go there. If you had to go back to school for one year, what grade would you go back to and why? What grade would I go back to? Well, you know, my fourth grade year was a good year. And, and I don't know about you, but I remember the switch from primary grades to fourth grade was hard. But I had an amazing teacher and really good friends. So I really liked the fourth grade. All right, are you ready for your rapid fire questions? I think so. Let me <laughs> just adjust my mask here. I don't know, this might be hard, Lily. Okay, I'm ready. Which one would you choose? Beauty and the Beast or Little Mermaid? Little Mermaid. Coffee or tea? Coffee, easy. Reading or being read to? Reading. Swimming or hiking? Hiking. What is your favorite favorite children's book? I loved Blueberries for Sal. What is your favorite pizza topping? Pineapple. Is that an odd? Do I do I pass? Is pineapple okay? <laughs> okay. And the last question is, what superhero would you be? Superhero? I'd be Wonder Woman. Who wouldn't want to be Wonder Woman? <laughs> she glides in the air. <laughs> She's really strong, and she's always in great shape. <laughs> President Fell, I would like to thank you for your time today helping all of us with, with Oiler Up. Till next time, this is Lily DePew for Mazza Kids Wanna Know. <laughs>